The Laundry Basket Quilt Mystery Quilt really snuck up on me this year. A couple of months ago, I finished this quilt top, I cut the batting, I even started a new project, and then boom! <laughs> Gardening season started, and I haven't quilted since. All my spare energy has gone into building, prepping, starting seeds, digging, um, moving dirt, planting. Uh, it's a brand new garden, so it's a lot of work. I've been really busy. But now I'm excited to finally get back to quilting and get started on this mystery quilt. I bought all my fabric online this year, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But first, I want to talk about a couple big differences you can expect from this year's mystery quilt. So first of all, and this is a big one, the pattern in the Laundry Basket Quilts blog is only going to be available while the mystery quilt is going on. So like, I think it's like six weeks. And then after that, they're going to take it down and put it um, up for sale as a regular pattern, which is different because in past years, they've left those patterns up for like years at a time. Next up, this year, expect to do some English paper piecing and some applique. I am a little nervous about this. I do like applique, by the way, specifically needle turn applique, but I'm just slow. So um, I'm a little nervous that could delay my videos personally, but I'm not apprehensive about it in general. The last difference I want to bring to your attention is there will be no grid this year, so we won't get a good idea of what this quilt is going to look like until the end. So it's an extra mystery on top of it, on top of everything. Okay, let's talk about fabric. The best part, personally, my favorite part. Um, so I said earlier I bought all my fabric online. Um, this is unusual for me because when I shop online, I'm usually building my stash or I'm going to buy a bundle. I don't usually shop for a whole quilt top online. I like to do that in person. Um, so this is a new experience for me. Uh, it was a little hard to get a good um, sense of the color palette in my online shopping cart, you know, because I'm looking at these tiny little squares and it makes it really hard to compare the um, fabrics at the top with the fabrics at the bottom. And that makes me a little worried that... Um, my fabrics might not match as well as I'd like, or maybe they won't have a good mix of the medium and dark that I need. Oh, that reminds me. Okay. Fabric requirements are um, 14 medium and dark fat quarters and two and a half yards of a light background. So as I was shopping online, I was going for a bit of like a muted purpley pink palette. And let's see <laughs> if I got that. I got this gray just because I really like these little meerkats. Look at the little baby. The little baby. Um, but it might actually work in this palette, and I might add, add some extra grays if I need to. I've been loving this fabric line for a really long time, so I'm really glad I finally get to use it. This and this are from the same line. So cute. And then I have some good basics here. Um, and of course, I can't remember what any of these are called. <laughs> um, I will try to leave some extra information about the fabric in the description of this video. But I think this is called... Oh, I'm going to feel bad if I get it wrong. I think it's called Spark. And it's got little metallic details. If you've seen any of my fabric haul videos, you'll know I'm a sucker for metallics. I love them. This is from the same line. And this is coming off as gray on camera, but it's more of a really pale lavender. Now this one is actually an ombre. So that should be a fun twist in my quilt. And another ombre. Another basic that I have no idea what it is. It's just a polka dot as far as I can tell. And the same one again in this nice dusty sort of purple color. I'm afraid this might actually be too light. And I purposely ordered 17 fat quarters instead of 14 in case I needed to take some things out. <laughs> this one is just fun. It might not fit in the quilt, but... I thought it might be a nice, weird sort of detail to peek out through some of the more, uh, let's say, blender colors. 
the more normal colors, fabric. This one is not a polka dot, it's actually a square. I think it might be called pixel or sugar. Don't hold me to that. Actually, it might be part of this line. Look at that, so cute. Love it. It's introducing a couple extra colors that I'm not sure about, but I wanna use that, that's so cute. Some more blenders, and actually, this might be too pink. I'm gonna arrange the fabrics in a group so you can see them all at once after I'm done flipping through this. This has some of those nice pinks, light pinks and the purple. That sort of mulberry, purpley kind of color. And now this is my background. And this is the one I was worried about. Um, I got Laundry Basket Quilts back, or a background fabric on purpose because I do not trust a lot of um, companies with white or light backgrounds. But I do trust Laundry Basket Quilts. So if I couldn't see it in person, I was going to trust the brand name on this one. And the way, reason I'm a little nervous about it is because it's got some of these rusty oranges in it and blues. Um, and I think in the long run, it might not be, well, I don't know. It might, it might be too much for the background, and I'm a little worried about that. So this might change later on. But there's two and a half yards of that. Some more of that dark purpley mulberry color. This one, I didn't think it was going to work at all. And now that I see it in person, I'm pretty sure this is going in the stash. I think that's too much going on. Okay, let me rearrange this so we can see it all together. Okay, how do you think I did? This one right here for sure is a no. My first instinct about this is that these are really reading more as lights than mediums. So, um, I'm, I think I'm definitely going to take this one away. This is, I mean, there's that pink tone, but I think it will not hold its own against this white. Or back, uh, the light background. This one too, maybe. We'll have to see. My other instinct is that these two here are maybe just too pink. They're not as saturated as I thought they were, or not as desaturated as I thought they were. So how many fat quarters is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, I have fifteen fat quarters. The background. I really wish that they blended a little bit more seamlessly towards the dark. I think I might just go ahead and remove this one too. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. If all else fails, I'm going to take out some of the ones that are too light and add in a little bit more gray. Just so this one doesn't stick out as much. Because I was really going for more of a muted <laughs> color. Because I started with these three here. And they were nice muted. And then I saw these ones and I had to add that. And then I just kind of got out of control after that. <laughs> so, um... I'll have to sit with this. Uh, when I have a color palette like this that I'm not sure about, I like to put it somewhere that I can look at it over the course of several days so I can sort of hone in on the things that are bothering me and I can figure out the things that I like and then I can uh, find a solution from there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it up somewhere so I can look at it every once in a while and just think about it. I'm really excited to see what we come up with, and I'm hoping that the applique isn't too elaborate so that I don't fall behind. Let me know in the comments section what you think of this color palette, good or bad, um, and if you are going to be participating in the mystery quilt, and if so, what colors are you going to be using? I'll see you again real soon. Bye!